What does a slice of nothing look like? Well, it can actually look very similar to this salt film here. But how could complete nothingness look like a bubble? Well, the reason that bubbles look colorful is because there's a very thin film of water sandwiched between two air layers. Whenever you have two things that are different densities right next to each other and you shine light on it, some light will go through and some will be reflected back. So you'll have a reflection at the air to water interface and then the light that makes it through will reflect from the water to air interface and become inverted. And because the light traveled a little further than the top reflection, it's now out of phase with the first wave. So at different spots you get constructive and destructive interference. And because this is wavelength dependent, the different colors of light that make up the white light in the room have different places where they'll constructively and destructively interfere. So you get a colorful pattern like you see all the time on bubbles. But the reason this is happening is because of this thin film of water. And this will happen when you have a thin film of basically anything. This could be a thin film of oil or a thin film of metal oxides that you see when you heat up coins or perform electrolysis on metals. This is all because of this thin layer of something that has a different density than the material next to it, which causes reflections to occur at the interface. So this means that I should be able to get the same pattern with a thin film of air as well. So if I take these two glass slides and sandwich some air between them, I get the same colorful pattern. This only happens when you get the thin layers a few wavelengths of light thick. So you can see this air film the same way that you can see a bubble film. So what would happen if instead of a thin film of air or water or oil, we had a thin film of nothing? What would it look like? Well, let's see if we can set this up and see what it looks like. In this device here, I have a concave lens sandwiched onto a flat piece of glass. So the thickness of the air in between these two pieces of glass increases radially. So what this makes is circular interference patterns. These are also called Newton's rings. So let's put this apparatus in my vacuum chamber and let's see if we can still see this interference pattern even with no air. Okay, start the vacuum. Three, two, one. So you can still see the rings just fine, even though we're at a full vacuum here. Now it's not a perfect vacuum, but close enough. So even at full vacuum, we can see the pattern still exists. So a thin film of vacuum also shows interference patterns. That's because this pattern is showing up because of the interface between the vacuum and the glass. Vacuum and air actually almost have the exact same refractive indices. So the interference pattern is almost exactly the same. So you can actually see nothing as long as it's next to something. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also hit the notification button so you get notified when I release my latest videos. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.